Hi again, everybody. So last time we talked about making a new document. Today we're going to talk about the next thing, workspaces. So when you look at my setup and you've launched Adobe InDesign, you're following along at home and you're like, well, my area looks different than hers. Okay. So let's talk about workspaces. This entire area is called your workspace. Okay. So if I go to the upper right hand corner, I have it set right now to typography, but I actually have a custom workspace that I showed you earlier. So this is my custom workspace and I prefer this setup. You don't have to use this. I'm probably going to stick with typography just to make it a a little bit easier for you guys to follow along. So how do you customize these panels? Because as you see when I left click on it and I'm using a three clicker mouse or two clicker mouse, um, I switch to typography, boom, it switches to this. Okay, well you can adjust these panels. So if I double, see I double left clicked with my mouse, I can make all of the panels fly out. Double left click, it can minimize them. I can also hover in between the edge of this panel right here and I can click and drag and adjust the sizes of it. So if you saw my earlier one I had some of the words showing and if you don't like the words you just prefer the icons you can drag it in. Alright so I'm just gonna double, double left click and have that fly out. The next thing is you can move any of these panels and adjust them. What happens is as you adjust them and you're like oh I can double left click and I can adjust how the tools look. This I use a lot, so I always want those to be out. So I'm gonna left click and hold, and I'm gonna hover. See what happens, there's this blue line. So that means it will magnetize to that size of the actual interface. So boom, my tools. Um, I have that set up. The reason why I tend to like the typography is because this basic control panel is right up here at the top. I also have my home button, okay, and then in design right here, this is called your menu bar. Okay, so basic setup I've covered so far is workspaces, upper right hand corner. If you want to follow along, you can use typography so that it will be the same exact setup as mine. Um, if some of the panels are minimized, you now know if you double left click on the top of it, that gray bar, it's going to allow you to bring it in or out. Okay, and then if your toolbar isn't where you want it to be, you can always click and left click and hold and drag it and magnetize it. This is your control panel right here. This is your menu bar, okay? Also, I wanted to cover this area right here. Um, so this is your document for your actual white that you see, okay? So anywhere that I have see a white, that is actually the eight and a half by 11 size. Um, measurements as far as when I'm zoomed in and out, you can see I'm 90.9, 96.29 zoomed in, and you see this pink line. So when we set that 0.5 inches, this is my live area that I'm going to call it, and then right here, this red that is on the gray, which is your clipboard, um, your pasteboard. This red line that goes all the way around it is your bleed. So I did 0.25 or an eighth of an inch all the way around because you never know if you want to have an image that goes off of the edge. Okay, so, but this allows me to know where is that eighth. I have my ruler set here so that I can see. If you are not showing rulers, all I have to do is on a Mac, you hit Command plus the letter R as in ruler. If you are on a PC, hold the control key plus the letter R for ruler. Okay, so now we have our workspace set up to the way we need to get started. On to the next step. Please um, follow along on the playlist. And uh, I should hopefully have a video um, little thing at the end. But please like and subscribe. Thank you.